A boat similar to this one, but carrying dozens of cartons of cocaine recently capsized in these waters in the region of Grand Popo, 90 kilometers from the capital Cotonou. Police say two Ghanaian drug traffickers were killed by villagers, their bodies thrown in the water. While a third trafficker, a Guatemalan national, escaped, giving money, but leaving behind his passport. Police say they were also able to recover 400 kilos of cocaine. But some of the police were accused of stealing some of the cartons, creating divisions, suspicion, and low morale. One of these cartons is worth much more for a policeman than several years of salary. The incident also caused unease among villagers, afraid they would be arrested. One fisherman says people saw what happened but refused to speak about it. Some of them, he says, have fled the region. He says they are afraid of police as much as of traffickers. Back at police headquarters, Benin police chief Antoine Anzoum is also worried. He says people are discovering the value of this illegal product. He says some cocaine being trafficked through West Africa now ends up on local markets, with new African traffickers, dealers and even users creating a threat to stability in an impoverished environment. A UN anti-drug official, Armando De Andres, shares these concerns. He says there are already little regional mafias cooperating with major South American and European cartels. He says there is the risk of a snowball effect. Many Africans say they feel they are being victimized once again by negative forces and turbulence coming from outside the continent. Nico Columbant, VOA News, West Africa Bureau.